Hi everybody, today we're going to be reading the book, What Do You Do With the Problem? Written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Beesom. Hope you enjoy! I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with the problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scold at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. What do you think he should do with his problem? I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all my things? Oh no, he's scared for his toys. He doesn't want his problem to take his toys away. I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wish it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem had an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see my problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know they're secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. What are problems for? They challenge us, shape us, push us, and help us to discover just how strong and brave and capable we really are. Even though we don't always want them, problems have a way of changing us in unexpected ways. So what will you do with your problem? Now, that's up to you. A message from the author. I hope you enjoyed this book. See you next time.